Hello there, Tuts Plus friends, and once again, it's Derek Jensen coming to you with another course on diving into the world of iOS and Swift, but this time we're going to take a little bit different approach. We've built some apps in some previous courses. We've targeted the Apple Watch. We've We've looked at how we're going to use the Swift programming language, how to build some basic iOS applications, but now I want to put a spin on that, and what I really like to do is I would like to show you one of the ways that we can ensure that the functionality that we're shipping with our apps is functioning as we would like it to, and how else can you do that but writing tests. Now, tests may seem kind of boring to some people, but I truly enjoy them, and to me, it really gives you an opportunity to go hunting into your code in a very structured manner in order to figure out if everything is actually functioning correctly. And I don't treat finding bugs or issues or defects or whatever you want to call them is a bad thing. I, I treat that as a very good thing. You want to find those things. Everybody makes mistakes. And if anybody out there is running around as a software developer or a software engineer saying that they never make mistakes and they don't need to write tests for their code, don't believe them because it's absolutely false. Everybody makes mistakes. That we're, we're only human and these computers and these platforms and these iOS devices are only going to do exactly what we tell them to do. And if we don't tell them to do the right thing, they're not going to function properly and we don't want to ship buggy applications. Speaking of buggy applications, we're going to be working with a sample application throughout this course, which is a very simple tip calculator. And what this is going to do is going to allow the user at the end of a very nice dinner or trip out to your local watering hole to be able to very quickly and simply calculate the total amount, including tip, that their entire night is going to cost them. And as you see, we have two very simple inputs at the top here. We have the bill amount, so let's say it was $50, and then we can enter in the tax percentage, let's say it was 4.25, and then we can go ahead and adjust the tip percentage with this slider, and as we do that, we're adjusting these values down here, namely the tip amount and the total. Now there's a couple things that may or may not be going on in the background that we're going to identify later on, and one of those things might be the fact that, well, maybe do we want to include include tax in the tip calculation, yes or no, but right now that's not having any effect on the overall outcome. And, and whenever you're dealing with money, you could always be running into rounding issues. So these are a lot of things you have to start looking out for when you write these types of applications. And the only way to truly be sure that you're doing it correctly is to write some very nice tests. So that's the goal of this course. So I hope you're excited. I'm very excited to dive deeper into this as well. So let's go ahead and spend some time in the world of testing with Xcode.